The iPhone presents a challenge. It has some amazing abilities, but it also has some amazing distracting abilities. I find that there are certain apps that help me narrow my focus and complete more tasks during the day, but there are also things on my phone that distract me and make me not do what I wanted to do that day. In this video, I'll show you the key apps that I use on my iPhone pretty much every day that keep me focused and let me get things done more efficiently and easily. So the first app we're gonna talk about is Things. I think Things is the best to-do app there is. I have this application on my phone, my iPad, and my laptop, and my brain simply is not good at remembering little tasks like buying dishwasher soap or calling my mom. Also, it is just nice to use. It feels good to add a to-do or a project, and I can do it quickly. And what I usually do during the day is I add more and more items to this inbox session. And at the end of the day, I'll go through this and sort it into different columns. For example, on my kind of to-do list, I have different categories. I have life, medicine, learning, YouTube videos, passive income, family and friends, hobbies, health, and bucket list. But if I wanted to sort these to-dos right now, all I would do is click it, and then I can just send it into a certain column. I just go to move on the bottom here, and you can see I might put this into life OS, and then it's there. What you can also do is create two more subcategorization things. So for example, if I wanted to create a new area and let's call that instruments. Say I wanted to learn all the instruments, right? I could do just new project and I'd say guitar. And then what I can do is I can take this guitar and I can move this into instruments. And then, so I like learn chords. Get guitar. And the cool thing is, when I go back to here, this instruments thing now has guitar under it. And when I go to this and say I get my guitar, now you can see this little circle up here is halfway done because my project of guitar is halfway done. But yeah, I just really like this app. I like scheduling things out. I like the ease of use of it. And I like how it syncs across all my devices. So all in all, what is this app? Well, I think it's the best to-do app there is. The next application is Forest. Now what Forest is, is a focus timer that grows a virtual forest. If you click anywhere on your phone, your tree dies. How big is your forest? Grab a friend and show them your Forest app. If your forest is bigger, you are better, smarter, and definitely a more awesome person guaranteed than the other person. Well, not necessarily, but this does look nice, right? If I set this timer here for 25 minutes, it'll start to grow the tree. And if I go throughout the whole time without switching away from this app or losing focus, then I will get a new tree on my kind of field. But you can see if I go away, so if I, for example, I go here, I'm like, hmm, let's go watch some YouTube videos. Look at these lovely YouTube videos. I'm gonna watch a Casey Neistat video. Casey Neistat, the surprise of her. But look what happens now when I go back to my tree. It died. My tree died. Sad. But another cool thing you can do with this app is you can do it with friends. So if I go up here to the top and I hit plant together mode, I can create a room and then I can have one of my friends join this room and then if either one of us goes off or doesn't or loses our focus, we, both our trees will die. I really like this app. I really like to kind of set 25 minutes and what I'll do is I'll do this for four sessions, take a five minute break in between each session. And on the fourth session, I'll take a longer 20 to 30 minute break. Now the next application is Anki. And Anki is a virtual flashcard application that integrates spaced repetition. I have multiple posts on this and videos on this. So you can kind of just check my channel. I think actually 75% of my entire YouTube channel and website talk about Anki. So yeah, I like it. But all it is is just a flashcard application. So if I go to here, for example, I have a flashcard. And then when I click it, the answer is filled in here. Some extra information is down here. And then depending on how well I do, I will hit again, hard, good, or easy. And this would kind of space out the next time I would see this flashcard, depending on the algorithm for space repetition. But what I do is every morning I wake up and do three to five hours of these virtual flashcards because it's really the core of my medical study routine. So the next application I use every day is Sleep Cycle. What Sleep Cycle is, it's a smart alarm that wakes you up during your lightest sleep cycle. It it may wake me up 30 minutes before my actual alarm, but I find when I use this alarm as opposed to a regular alarm, I wake up feeling better and less groggy. Now this could be a placebo effect and that's fine. It still seems to work for me. The way this app works is you can either use it at with an accelerometer down here, which means you would put it under your pillow and see how it feel, 
or you could set it as a microphone, which it recommends, which is what I do. So I put it next to my bed and it kind of tracks the noises I make. As you can see down here, the noises, I'm because I'm talking, so it's going up and down. And the more noises I make, it means the lighter the sleep cycle I'm in, or supposedly. And if we just pick a random day here, you can see that when I first fall asleep, I'm making lots of noise, lots of noise, then less noise, less noise. And then I have a wake up, probably go to the bathroom or something like that. And then less noise, less noise. And then it wakes me up right here when I'm at the lightest stage of my sleep because I wanted to wake probably sometime around 6.30. Also the nice thing it does, which I like, is it tells me kind of my quality. I don't know how accurate this is, but it tells me how long I was in bed and it compares it to kind of what I've done before. So every night what I do is I set this alarm right next to my bedside and then I put it on a charger and point the microphone towards my bed. The next application that I use kind of every day is Evernote. Now Evernote is a notes application you can depend on. I've been using Evernote for a while. This is my quick notes application. When I have a thought that doesn't fit in kind of my to-do section or when I write, wanna write a little bit longer of a note, I put it in here. And it's really simple to use. It's easy to type in. Now I used to use the built-in Apple Notes, but I found it wasn't as good as Evernote for the main reason that I can't access it without being on my phone. One, also at one point I tried to switch to an Android phone and I couldn't transfer my Apple Notes to the the Android phone, so I decided to switch to Evernote. Warning that you do need Evernote Pro to sync on more than two devices, but I only sync on my computer and my phone. And again, I'm only using these for temporary notes that I might transfer later to either Notion or something like that. So I have, as you can see here, I have some scripts for videos, I have Jefferson Med School, I have passwords, Dream Journal. Passwords is probably not the smartest thing to put on my phone, but I have it. Now the final app I use is Notability. Notability is great because I can store PDFs, PowerPoints, and notes, all that sync across all my different platforms. And the cool thing is I can also organize them really nicely on this side column here. Every week I get maybe 20 different PowerPoints or articles, as you can kind of see if we go to this block, which is the section I'm learning. Week one, I have 21, 20, 21. And if I just tried to organize this on my computer, I would be overwhelmed. So this is kind of a divider section and in each divider section, I split it up into weeks. And then in each week, you can see that I have all the PowerPoint slides and all the different kind of articles and worksheets in this. And it's really good because I can take these articles and worksheets that I have and look at these. And for example, this is the brachial plexus and I was trying to practice redrawing it. And the way I use this every day on my phone is when I'm like kind of waiting for something or not doing Anki, I'll just open this up and maybe I'll review the, some diagrams or some PowerPoint slides that I was looking at. I used to store all of these files on my computer, but they had had two major drawbacks. The two drawbacks were I can only access these files from my computer. And if my computer breaks, I can't access those files. Notability fixes this because it syncs across all my devices and it's stored in the cloud. So all in all, how do I use this? I use it to reference old notes, PowerPoints, and worksheets. But yeah, these applications I use every day and they've really helped me kind of get the most out of my days. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.